Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is going to be teaching all of you how to make Game Pass chat tags and group chat tags with the new text chat service that Roblox released, okay? So basically, we get, uh, Game Pass chat tags is if a player owns a Game Pass, they'll have a chat tag. And then uh, group chat tag is if a player is in a group, they'll have that chat tag. So basically, last week I made a video introducing text chat service and how to uh, make chat tags with it. And a lot of you have been asking how to make the group chat tag or a Game Pass chat tag. So, uh, I'm gonna teach you all today. So, a quick recap from last week's lesson. Uh, text chat service is basically like the new chatting service, and there's uh, new parameters, so like creating chat tags and everything. So, I'm gonna go over that quickly, briefly, because that's how we're gonna uh, apply the chat tags. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, first, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna create a local script and put it into starter GUI, okay? So, uh, these, uh, text chat service mainly is modified in the local uh, from the client so it has to be a local script okay so I'm gonna call this uh, chat tags okay so now for the basics we're gonna have to do a local text chat service equals to game get service text chat service okay just like this and then also we're gonna do local marketplace service equals to game get service marketplace service okay this is there because uh soon we're going to be working with game passes to see if a player owns a game pass so we're going to need that service okay so now we're going to do text chat service dot uh text chat service dot on incoming message equals to function okay and then in parentheses message colon and then text chat message like this so basically what this function is that it's going to take the in, any incoming message that's coming in from the chat, right? And uh, and then this message is like a variable for the, uh, for the chat message that came, okay? So basically this function, in short, is going to intercept uh, this incoming message and it's going to return properties or changes that we want to make, such as adding the chat tag or changing the color. So that's what we're doing, okay? So we're going to do local properties equals to instance dot new <clears throat> text chat message properties okay we're creating these new properties to send back to this message to change it okay so now we're gonna we'll do if message which is the text ch chat message dot text dot text source then so basically the text source is the player that sent it Let, let's say uh, the server automatically did it then uh, there's no player behind that so if there is um, something like this then local player equals to game get service players get player by user ID message dot text source dot user ID okay and also this script is based off the uh, the text chat service article uh, so I'll link that in the description if you need it but it's like Roblox documentation okay so now we're gonna do now this is the part where we, we're gonna have to do the parameters for game pass if the player has the game pass or is in a group but first we're gonna do uh, first we're gonna just like modify it okay so first we're gonna do properties dot uh, prefix text equals to and then this is where we make our chat tag modification okay so let's say we just want to apply a chat tag globally to everyone so we're gonna do property so this will be any message right properties of prefix text so this is what I'm gonna do equals to so we're just going to have, okay, let me expand this because this is going to be a bit confusing, okay? So we're going to go like this. You want a less than symbol, okay? Font, space, color, okay? Equals to, and then you're going to have uh, this, uh, font color equals to, and then uh, just put two um, single quotation marks, right? And then once, once you have that, we're going to do uh, greater than bracket okay and then we're gonna type just blank right here I'll spell that in and then what we're gonna do is uh, less than brackets again and then we're gonna do slash font like this and then greater than brackets just like this and then we're gonna do a space right here and now we're gonna do dot dot message dot prefix text so what this is doing is that it's using some HTML to change the font color of the chat tag that will be put in front of the message, okay? So let's say we put brackets in here, right? 
we have this and then let's just put player so this chat tag will go in front of the player's message okay like so player like this this part will go in front of the message okay so font color right here this will have to be a hex value okay font.color is going to be a hex value so what you're going to want to do is you're going to search up hex color picker on google and then you have this big color picker right here so you can choose any color that you want okay oh why can i not so you can choose any color i'm going to choose like a cyan okay go like this you're going to copy this hex value and then you're going to go back to studio just like this and, and then put that hex value right there and then that's the color of the chat tag okay so let's just quickly test this out see if it works Oops. No, what happened? Oh, I forgot what I did. You have to put down here return properties. So because this function uh, it's looking for properties you want to put, you have to do return properties. So you return these th these modifications that you made back to the message. Okay? I forgot that. My bad. Okay. So let's press play. Why did it not work? Okay, play again. Now let's see if this works. As you can see right here, there's this nice blue chat tag right in front of my name. Okay? So, as you can see, that chat tag worked. So now we're gonna have parameters to see uh, if a player's in a group or if a player owns a game pass. Okay? So, just recap this script will be in the description if you need it but so yeah so this HTML it's if it's confusing you'll just to type just it will be uh, in the description okay so now we need the parameters okay so first let's do if a player owns a game pass okay so we're gonna do if right if marketplace service okay Use, okay, user owns game pass to sync. So if marketplace service colon user owns game pass to sync, then we're gonna get a player dot user ID, which is the player dot user ID, and then comma the game pass ID number. Okay, so uh, let's just go uh, to this game pass right here, VIP, and just copy this game pass ID right here. Okay, we're gonna go into studio, put that in right there. Then, okay, let's say this is a VIP game pass. So. Let's, we'll take that out and put it right here. So only if a player owns this specific game pass, then we'll have this nice VIP chat tag, okay? So if I press play right now, I do not currently own the game pass, so if I talk, those parameters will not give me that VIP chat tag. But let's say I buy it, buy now. So now I purchased it, and now I own this VIP thing, right? So now let's pl press play again and see if I get this uh, VIP chat tag. As you can see, now I have this VIP chat tag just right there. Okay, so now that we have this game pass thing down, so I'll just uh, take this. Okay, so now that we have this down, now let's change this into if a player is in a group. Let's say, uh, so if player is in group, so the player, player, and then colon is in group, and then now let's get the group ID. So you're gonna go to a group that you're in, copy the ID, let's say it's your group, paste that in there, then, and then we'll just say uh, like fan, okay? So since I'm in that group, it will uh, show up for me, watch. Fan. As you can see, since I'm in that group, it will show up. But let's say I just put in some like a, a random gr group just like this that I probably not in. Let's say I'm not in that group. Oh, why am I doing that? As you can see, no chat tag. So only if I'm in that group, I will get that chat tag. So basically, that's pretty much it for a uh, group and Game Pass chat tag. So you have this marketplace service thing, and then you also have a uh, uh, this uh, group thing you have both of these so you have these two and you can choose either one for your parameters And then you can see if they want VIP they want fan and uh, you can choose whatever you want and just customize this So uh, this script will be in the description and uh, that's video guys. I hope you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe and turn notifications Bye